Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the hacker rank and leak code problems. Uh, I've done a ton of them, so check the playlist out. Check the description below. Please subscribe and like. Uh, thank you for checking this video out. We're doing counting valleys. It's just the warm-up challenges. I decided to make some easy videos. Uh, so if you're a beginner, this is for you. If you're not, might not be for you. This is basically an easy version of Robot Returns to Origin. Uh, on leak code. So it's the same exact problem basically. So we have a hiker and we have a string of D's and U's. Uh, D means down, up, U means up. So when he walks up, he, we're going to add one to his altitude. When he goes down, we're going to decrease one from his altitude because he starts at sea level and he goes up or he can go down. So a mountain is he goes up to above sea level and then he comes down to sea level. A valley is he goes below sea level and then he comes up. So if he went down with a D and then he went up right after, that would be one va um, that would be one valley because he went below sea level and then he get went back up to sea level. Um, so now we're gonna do complete the counting valleys function below. We we'll get a string and then we get the number of steps. Uh, so that doesn't even matter. The number of steps literally doesn't matter at all. Um, what we're just going to do is we're going to have int altitude is going to be set to zero because that's where he starts. And then we're going to have int num valleys because that's what we want to find out. So num valleys is zero at first. We're going to do a for loop. Int i equals zero. i is less than n. I guess we can use n. Um, i plus plus. So we loop through this string if s.char at i, so we check the current character in the string. If it's equal to u, then we're gonna obviously increment altitude. Um, if it's equal to a d, we're gonna decrement altitude. This is pretty much the easiest problem that you'll probably be able to find on the, both of these websites. Uh, altitude minus minus. And then here's the thing, if we want, we're only looking for num values, so that's all we care about. So we'll just do if, uh, altitude is equal to negative one, then we will do num valleys plus plus. So basically what we're doing is a check in the up, because this if we're below altitude and we get up to altitude, that means that we made it, we're gonna add one to our valley. That was a valley, because we got back to sea level. So that, there we go, that's, an, uh, that's a valley right there. So if it's negative one, that means that we saw an up, we're gonna go back up to the level. We add one to the valleys. This will count all the valleys, and then all we have to do is return the num valleys that we counted. Uh, that's the whole problem. Let's run it. Imagine it fails. That would be funny. Not really, that would be basically tell you that I'm not getting hired ever. So, uh, there we go. Hopefully you guys can do that. I don't even know why I made a video. Hopefully a beginner, maybe they'll need help doing this or something. Like, I don't know. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll do, I do, I do harder ones than this. So I just am doing these for fun. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.